So, welcome once again to our discussion on instrumental variable estimation technique. So far, we have discussed mainly the theoretical portion of this topic. So, by now, uh, we know what is instrumental variable, what is the instrumental variable estimation technique, when to apply, I mean how to check endogeneity is there in the model or not, then how to extend the simple instrumental variable estimation in the context of multiple linear regression model where we have more than one explanatory variables and then how to test endogeneity when there are more number of uh, uh, endogenous uh, variables, how to test over identification so on and so forth. Now, today what we will do, we will take one data set and then we will learn how to estimate all those models using the statistical software Stata, right. So, this is the data what we are going to use. This is a data on I will look I will I will I will show you the data source. How does the data look like? So, this is a data on uh, married women's labor force participation right where uh, then we have this is a qualitative uh, response kind of uh, thing where in labor force is a dependent variable which takes the value 1 if the woman participate in the labor force otherwise no otherwise 0 then what is the labor supply measured by hours then what is the number of kids less than 6 years of age ok then age education then uh, wage then husband's labor supply husband's wage so on and so forth so this is basically the data now what we will do we will try to estimate a wage function right the same example what we have discussed in our class so that means let us say that this is the wage function log wage log of wage is actually a function of beta 0 plus beta 1 education education plus beta plus u1 where we assume that covariance between education and u1 that is actually not equals to 0. So, education is an endogenous variable why this is so? because we are assuming that error term captures an omitted variable let us say ability where ability is correlated with the education and that is why there is a covariance between education and u1. And we also assume that we have two instruments let us say z1 which is father's education for the timing we will work with father's education. Okay, this is the instrument where we assume that covariance between education and Z1 is actually not equals to 0, but covariance between Z1 and U1 that is actually equals to 0. So, this is our model and now we will estimate this using the statistical software. Okay. So, let us first try to estimate the model using ordinary least square technique and how to estimate the model we all know. So, the command would be reg then L wage and education ok and if we this is the command in stata we have to put and if you put enter this is the model would, which is estimated. Now, from this model, how to interpret the coefficient? See, the coefficient of education is 0 0.1086. What does it mean? How to interpret this coefficient? And here, the, 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 the dependent variable is log wage. Okay? So, that means we can say that for a unit change in education, the wage changes by 10 percent. That is what is the interpretation of this. So, that means returns to education is basically 
10 around 10 percent 10.86 percentage okay that is the interpretation now since we have estimated this model using ordinary least square and we suspect that education to be endogenous because ability factor is not included in the model which is there in the error term so we suspect education to be endogenous and now let us let us estimate the model using the instrumental variable estimation technique right to estimate the model using instrumental variable estimation technique that means what is the command the command is very simple the command is iv reg iv reg l wage the dependent variable then in the bracket we will put education and that will put equals to f a t h e d u c okay so that means instrument we are putting in the bracket that means we are asking stata to estimate the model by replacing education that means by using the father's education as an instrument for the endogenous variable now look at this so in stata is reporting this result look at this result the result is instrumental variable then in the bracket 2 sls regression now if you recall we said that 2SLS is a specific type of IV regression technique particularly applicable in the context of two, inst uh, two instruments. So, in this case, since we have only one instrument, father's education, so that means IV estimation, which is done generally by method of moments, which we have discussed, and these two stages list square, they will give you the same result. So, that is why stata will always report the 2 SLS output only even in the context of one instrument that we have to keep in mind. So, that means even though there is a distinction between IV and 2 SLS, 2 SLS is a specific case of IV which is applicable only when there are two instruments instead of one because why 2 SLS? When we have two instruments, we do not know which one to use and that is why Econometrician this suggests that when you have more than one instrument, we should use the linear projection. So, that means linear combination of all those instruments as the instrument. Okay? So, we have to take linear combination. Now, how to take linear combination? In a second stage reduced form equation where the endogenous variable is actually regressed on all the exogenous variable included as well as excluded as instruments. So, in this case, stata is reporting two stage list square technique where the dependent variable is log wage and independent variable is education, but we have instrumented education by father's education. So, that means in this output, stata is reporting what is instrumented and what are the instruments, right? what is instrumented is actually education that means education is the endogenous variable and father's education which is actually z1 excluded from the model is actually the instruments now if you look at the returns to education which was earlier 10.86 percent now it is 5.91 percent so that means the returns to education has become half. So, with this result, we can now understand the severity of endogeneity problem. But one thing we have to keep in mind, we do not know actually what is the true returns to education, whether 5 percent, 5.291 percent is too low of true returns to education or not, because we have collected only one sample and we are estimating returns to education from this sample. Okay? But only one thing we have to keep in mind that there is a drastic change in the coefficient. From 10.86 percent, now it has become 5.91 percent. That is the change in returns to education. So, this is our first model. Now, we have used father's education as an instrument but as you know that instrument must exhibit two conditions two conditions must be satisfied for the instruments to be to be 
to to be a valid instrument so that means the first condition is the instrument must be correlated with the endogenous variable and it should be non correlated with the error term now how will you check whether the instrument is actually correlated with the error term uh, sorry uh, with the endogenous variable or not simply we will write one regression where education is the dependent variable and father's education is the independent one and from this if you see that father's education is highly significant and r square of this model is around 20 percent so 20 percent of the variation in education can be explained by father's education itself so that means we can say that father's education is highly correlated with the individual's education so the first condition is satisfied what about the second condition second condition as we said when we have only one instrument we cannot really check whether father's education is uncorrelated with the error term or not that we cannot check okay so for the timing we have to rely only our theoretical understanding that since father ed father's education is not correlated with the wage of an individual that means father's education does not qualify to be an explanatory variable since it is not an explanatory variable we will say that ui does not capture father's education okay because if at all it is captured then some relationship would be there with education uh, sorry error term for example ability was having some impact on father's uh, uh, individual's wage that is why ability factor if i am not including in the model that means it is going and sitting inside the error term here we assume by our own common sense that somebody's wage is not dependent on father's education but it is not though as simple as we are saying father's education might also be an indirect impact on uh, education uh, individuals wage as well and in that context father's education and uh, error term would be related so to make the thing simple for the timing we say that father's education does not have any impact on individuals wage and that is the reason it is not going and sitting in the error term so we say that father's education is not correlated with the error term by our theoretical understanding but we cannot test this statistically using this data all right so this is how we have to estimate instrumental variable estimation and the command is iv reg l wage in the bracket we will first put the endogenous variable we will put equality sign and then this so that means once you estimate this box instrumented and instruments will give will help you identify what is the reduced form you have estimated what is the reduced form equation that means education is actually the dependent variable in the reduced form equation and father's education in the independent one now we will simply extend this model when we have multiple uh, explanatory variable so that means now we are estimating this type of model reg l wage education and let's say we have experience also as an additional explanatory variable but experience we are assuming that it is an exogenous variable so that means we are extending this model from loh equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 education plus beta 2 experience plus u1 where we assume that covariance between experience and the error term is actually 0 so that means experience is a purely exogenous variable included in the model okay all right but one thing is we, we have to keep in mind that since experience is already included in the model 
as an explanatory variable, experience cannot be used as an instrument. So, an exogenous variable which is included in the model cannot be used as an instrument. The instrument must be excluded from the model. Okay, instrument must be excluded from the model. So, we need to look for some other variable like father's education. So, this is the model we are estimating and then so here this is the model we are estimating right so returns to education is again 10.94 percent when we are using ols but when you are using instrumental variable iv reg loh and then we will put education equals to father's education and then experience okay so now returns to education has gone down from 10.94 percent to 7.52 percent and again if you want to trace your reduced form equation this education equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 experience plus beta 2 father's education so that means reduced form equation as i said earlier it is a function of the endogenous variable with all exogenous variable included as well as excluded. Experience is included exogenous variable and father's education is the excluded exogenous variable. Okay? And once again, if you want to test how best the father's education is related, reg education with experience with father's education. And see, father's education is again highly correlated with the education because the p value is 0 0.000. Okay, so that means we can extend the simple uh, IV estimation technique in the context of multiple linear regression model as well. Okay, now let us assume that we will estimate a model where we have more than one instrument that means we are let us say running this type of model log wage equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 education plus beta 2 experience plus u1 and we have two instruments let us say z1 which is father's education and z2 which is let us say mother's education correct so when we have two instruments then what we have dis discussed in our class that instead of using one instrument we have to take a linear combination of these two okay and how to take linear combination of these two it is basically running a reduced form equation that means education equals to let us say pi 0 plus pi 1 father's education plus pi 2 mother's education plus pi 3 experience plus let us say v 1 okay this is the this is the model so that means the estimation involves firstly estimating this reduced form equation this is the reduced form equation From here, what I have to get? I have to get the education hat, estimated value of this. Okay? And then I need to substitute education by education hat to remove the endogeneity. That is what we have discussed. Now, let us see how to go about this. 
So, that means we will estimate the model, let us say uh, here this is our model rig L wage education and we have experience okay this is our model we have one endogenous variable one exogenous variable this is the regression and from here we can understand that returns to education is 10.94 when we estimate the model using OLS without considering the endogeneity okay and now since we have two instruments what to do now in the first step what we will do reg education equals to experience then father's education and mother's education this is the reduced form equation we are running so we will estimate education hat from this regression education is a function of experience father's education and mother's education and from this what we have to get we have to get the predicted value of the dependent variable which is education okay so what is the command for that p r e d i c t predict y hat or you can put education hat as well y hat if you put then stata will predict the estimated value of the dependent variable from the reduced form equation and that reduced form equation that estimated value from the reduced form equation we will replace into the original structural form equation so if we do that our equation would become reg l wage now instead of education we are putting y hat y hat then experience that is the only uh, additional explanatory variable we have and now this y hat is nothing but education hat so the returns to education is 6.12 percent so this is what we did we have basically estimated the model using two sls but we conducted two sls manually manually in the first step we have estimated the value of education the endogenous variable we have predicted the value of the endogenous variable and then we replace education by education hat to remove the endogeneity to remove the endogeneity okay all right now we have to note down this is 6.12 percent when we run the model by conducting two sls manually now if i regress the model if i regress the model by iv regression let us see what is happening so iv reg l wage iv reg l wage then for education i am putting education equals to father's education mother's education also and then experience so this is this is the running two sls estimates using the statistical software here what is the returns to education 6.63 it was 6.12 okay and the standard error 0.030 this is 0 0.0312 so that means there is some some kind of change there is some kind of change in the coefficient as well as in the standard error now the question is which among these two manual or this iv reg command to be used for estimation now econometrician they suggest 
that we should actually avoid the manual estimation of 2 SLS because of the following reason. What is the reason? Here, this is our model y1 equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 y2 plus beta 2 z1 plus u1. This is the model and z2 let us say is the instrument. So, in the reduced form equation what we do y2 we run this regression pi 0 plus pi 1 z1 plus pi 2 z2 plus let us say v1. And we said this is basically that means y2 equals to this is y2 hat plus v1. Okay. Now, if we replace this into the original equation, then what will happen? y1 will become beta 0 plus beta 1 y2 hat plus v1 plus beta 2 z1 plus u1. That means, this would become beta 0 plus beta 1 y2 hat plus beta 2 z1 plus beta 1 v1 plus u1. So, that means, in the original structural form equation, the error term becomes a composite one with additional component v1 v1. Okay? This is actual error term in the structural equation. But when we are manually estimating this, we are only replacing y2 hat here and trying to calculate the standard error of this beta 1 hat by using this error u1. Whereas, the actual error term should be u1 plus beta 1 v1. Please try to understand what I am saying. Manual. So, basically I am writing here manual estimation estimation of 2 SLS should be avoided because error term is beta 1 v 1 plus u 1, but we consider only u 1, only u 1 to estimate the model manually. Okay. So, the original estimates is actually, sorry, so the original error term is beta 1 v 1 plus u 1 which is a composite in nature, but when we replace the estimated value of y 2, this is sorry, this is y 2 not y 1, y 2 we take only the first component. So, that means only this much pi 0 plus pi 1 z 1 plus pi 2 z 2 and we ignore the v 1 hat portion. That is why this manual thing is not suggested. We have to always go by this. We have to always go by this IV reg method only. That is what I wanted to mean.